game And I want to play the game with you Life can be terribly tame If you don't play the game with two And I want to play the game with you Welcome to the Generation Game. Nice to see you. To see you. Nice. And a very happy new year. And a special welcome tonight to some people I didn't know before, but we actually do get viewers from the coast of France. And I had a, a Christmas card and a, and a sort of a get well card. I don't know what they thought was wrong with me, but... Uh... <laughs> Happy New Year, it says. It is from André and Suzanne Lesieux of Dunkirk. Well, thank you for looking at the show. Ho, he, ho, he, ho, he, ho, he, ho. He, ho, ho. <laughs> That will keep them happy. Right. <laughs> Let's get on with it, ladies and gentlemen. Here she is. New Year and a new dress, of course. There's a surprise. Anthea Redfern. Oh! <laughs> A slight male element in the yes, audience tonight. I like that. You like, you like yes. it? All right, well, give them two twirls then. Aww. Give them two twirls. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, it's rather nice. Isn't it pretty? Yes. Yes. What, what colour is that? Well, I'd call this a Roman purple with a slight uh, silver lurex thread. Yeah, sort of yes. Italian with a bit of Jewish taste yes, a little bit thrown of Jewish. in. Yes. Lovely. Why yes. not? But by the way, have you enjoyed the New Year so oh, far? Oh, lovely. And I'm so excited. Why? 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 Well, because my crocuses are coming up. Your crocuses? Yes. Your crocuses? Yes. Oh, well, I think we're all looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> Way! Let's meet the age who are going to generate the crocuses. <laughs> there we are. Meet and see if we've got a couple of crocuses popping up over there. Shall we? And see who we're going to meet first of all on the Generation yeah. Game? And this is Joan and Martin Howie. Oh, I see over here then, and it's mother and son, of course. And there we are. Uh, further on, it's, it's Joan Howie. You're from Sunderland? That's right. Yes. And you have always wanted to dance or sing, but say you can do neither. That's right. Oh, well, we'll see if we can do something about that tonight. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be that kind of a show, folks. Right. You are a general runabout for your husband in the garage business. I am. <laughs> well, it must be a very good garage if you have to run about for him, but anyway, we won't say any more. You have been married for 24 years, lovely, and met your husband at a party and said it was the full some enchanted evening bit. That's you may see a stranger. And yes. you looked across the room and there he was. Yes. Did you rush to his side oh, like of the course. song? Yes. And what happened then? He kissed me. Oh, no, what? Just like that? Just like that. <laughs> How many kids have you got, for goodness sake? <laughs> He's a big lad. Right, well, now, uh, oh, I'm quite... I'm quite flushed. Right. <laughs> Over now to your son, Martin. Uh, you're from Sunderland as well, Martin Howie. You're a journalist with the local Eden newspaper, which celebrated its centenary last year. Oh, yes. we'll give them all our love. Uh, a lot of your time is taking up with the job, but in your spare time, you like to play the guitar and sing. I try, yes. Oh, you yeah. try? Yeah. Well, it's the New Year's show. Have you got your guitar with you? No, no. Thank God. Right, you are. <laughs> and you were once kicked out of the school library for impersonating Bruce Forsyth. <laughs> is that right? What did you do? What did you say? Well, it came in two parts, actually. Two parts? Oh, yes, yes. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, stand by for part one. <laughs> what did you do? That was the easy part, the, the first part. Well, what did you do? I just went like that. Oh, yeah? <laughs> then the yeah. second part, yeah. I couldn't do it very well because Anthea wasn't there. Oh. <laughs> part three, you're able to get one in the mouth. Right. <laughs> Start bandying words with me, mate. You have a girlfriend called Sandra who lives in Western Supermare. Yes. Give her our love. Thank you for playing the Generation game. Just come over here with your mother and we'll meet our next uh, contestants who are... And this is Daphne and Andrew Munro. Oh, another mother and son. <laughs> oh, there they are up there. Fine. And Daphne, we, well, I think we had a Daphne once before on the show, but only one. And uh, you're from St Austell, Cornwall. <laughs> your father was born in Buckingham Palace. Oh, that's right. Is that right? That's right. Born in the back. Well, 
Go and do it. Arise, Sir Bruce, right, I did. Right. <laughs> what was his name, dear? His name? Yes. Aldred. Aldred? Have we, have we ever had a King Aldred? No. <laughs> Get the research, people. King or no? Is his second should, name? I think you should read on. Yeah, but, yeah, but John. Uh, John. Yeah, but his surname. Jennings. Oh, did we have a King Aldred Jennings? <laughs> no, it doesn't sound yeah, like doesn't us. Really doesn't. Oh, in the Muse. He was born in the Muse. Yes. <laughs> in the Muse. Not in the stable. In oh, the I muse. see. <laughs> well, tell me. I mean, what, what, how was this? I mean, his father was Colt Breaker. To a Colt Breaker. Yes. And also rode alongside on state occasions. Oh, lovely. Um, oh, it's a pleasure to, to have Victoria you on the show. and yeah. to Edward. Well, that's beautiful. That's, that, that's really lovely. It's nice to have someone with a bit of class oh, on the show. Right. Yes. <laughs> Run about in the garage, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, all, all of a sudden, the, the show has gone like that. <laughs> Not like that, like that. Right. <laughs> Anyway, you're interested in home decorating, and whilst laying the carpet, you once buried the dog. Is I that right? <laughs> Poor thing. Him. And the dog also has been splattered with paint yeah. when you decorate. Yeah, he runs Would you call out. him Spot? Something like that. <laughs> uh, Spot. Never mind. Right. <laughs> Over now to your son Andrew Munro, uh, also also from St Austell's. Right. Sorry. You're 19, and you work as a wages clerk, accounts clerk, telex operator, telephonist, and sort of disc jockey in a pharmaceutical rubber company. Oh, really? <laughs> I think you may wish that we'd have cut him out. <laughs> Stay tuned to the station. <laughs> you have a few samples in your pockets in case we would like to... Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, they're lovely. These little things for, uh, yes, for your ears, right. yeah, yes, squeeze it in your ears. Yes. And that could be a bottle stop, it could, couldn't it? Something really? like that, definitely. You know, and you're a disc jockey. Yes. Lemonade bottle, you could be stop of the pops. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, that's lovely, but very important, all these things. All right, then. <laughs> we have ways of making you talk. Right. <laughs> right, no, you can't live without them. Thank you for bringing it along. I wish I'd keep some, but I've got nothing to do with them. Anyway, you mean... <laughs> We all have our problems. We all have our problems, yeah. <laughs> I've got one with you. Right. <laughs> Your main hobby is a hi-fi and television and collecting records and cassettes, of which you have a large number. Yes. Good luck with everything. Welcome to the Generation Game, and we've had a long talk, so come over here and sit down <laughs> for a minute. For the first game, you just have to watch something, because we're going to bring the New Year in, and there's only one way to bring the New Year in, and this is our way. And, of course, on the pipes there, Jimmy McGinn. Beautiful, beautiful. Is it, tell me, is it, I've heard a rumour. Is this the way Scotsman cuts their toenails? It's a quick way. It is a quick way. Oh, All right, well, thank you for bringing in the new year the way we wanted to. So, if you'll just come back and do some marking, Lovely. and, Jimmy, you just stay around there and, you know, get your breath going. Now, we will toss up for this. But you don't have to go into Bruce's room. But uh, heads or tails? Tails. Tails, tails it is. Do you want to go first or second? Yes. Get it over with? Yes. All right, then. You're yes. a game one, aren't you? Yes. All right, then. In you come first. And uh, stand sort of opposite one another, that's it. And do the going round bit first, and then do get in, and get in, and, and do all the, you know, all the, all the business. You know, really get in there. Here we go, then. Let's have another little bit of Scottish reel. There we are. Finish. 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 Finish.
finishes, do you? There we are, then. In you come, then. You've taken your shoes off as well, have you? Good idea for the ladies, that. And just stand... Uh, let's get them in the centre. By the way, that's not blood, it's red uh, tape. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK, then. Away you go. Do get in. Do the going round bit as well, but do get in amongst the swords. All right, then. Yet another bit of Scottish reel. Oh, I say. Oh, I say. <laughs> the begin. Right. Come back here, will you, Colin and Linda? And if you'll come this side of me, and will you come in here? That's it. And they'll come right in the middle of us. And your oh, shoes? on your shoes. Oh, that's yeah. it. We didn't anticipate that, but it was a good idea. There we are. Well, what did you think? Very Excellent. good. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, Wonderful. they really got Excellent. stuck in there. Yes. Marvellous. Well, it's up to you. What about this side first? They were very good. Yes. Nine. Nine? Mm -hmm. Nine out of Nine. ten? Yes. Well done. Well done. And how about over here on the left? Just as good. Just as good? Nine. Nine. Yeah, well excellent. done. Good luck. <laughs> Lovely. A happy new year again, Linda and Colin. Thank you so thank much you for coming along to see us. That's fine. Let's have a look at the old scoreboard. Joan and Marty, nine. Daphne and Andrew, nine. Our next game is called Herbs. Herbs, all right? A game for you to play at home. What do you mean, no? no Don't you know anything about no. them? <laughs> all right, then we'll come round here. It might not be as bad as you think. If you'll get behind your table there, and Daphne, you come round here. And let's show the people at home, first of all, who want to play the game as well. Let's go along the line very, very carefully. All right, then. First of all, here's herb number one. There we are, moving along. Herb number two. Number three here. The leaves are rather big. There we are. And number four, number five there. OK, very tiny little leaves. On and these are rather droopy, the leaves on this one. All right? Now let's have a look at our board. And you'll see, oh, we have uh, ten different uh, herbs there. Dill, marjoram, uh, thyme, mint, bay, sage, chives, rosemary, fennel and basil. Basil. All right, then? This is sort of the brush for <laughs> herbs. But, but there we are. Uh, what, what you have to do, you have your clipboards here, the same for you over there, and you just write down from one to six what you think each herb is. You can smell them, which will help you. You've got 30 seconds to do exactly this, starting from now. You at home as well. then so if you'll just give you still writing if you'll just uh, step in there and are you there yes. we're ready to do a bit of marking now um, what have you got for number one um, for number one we've got time you've got time yes and um, we've got they should be doing time because actually it is mint we've got mint so we get two points you should yes. know more about it than you thought now moving on to number two what have you got for number two and for number two rosemary ah you're right with rosemary we're wrong we've put chives but you're right, you've got two points. Jolly good, moving along to number three. What have you got for that? And for number three, we've got marjoram, which uh, is wrong. And we've got marjoram as well, which is wrong. It should be... Bay. Now, moving on to number four. Uh, nobody scored points on that one. Number four, what have you got for that? And for number four, we've put sage. And we haven't got... We've just got an M. Well, I started to write. Yeah, started to write, but no. But you've got sage, and sage is right. So, two points for you again. Number five, what have you got for that? And and for number five, we've put basil, which is... Ah, <laughs> and we've put thyme. And you're absolutely right, Daphne. Oh, yes. Absolutely right there, yes. You've got two <laughs> points with that. Your nose did that, did it? Right. How about the last one, Anthea? And for number six, what's this? Yeah. 
Bay. 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 Oh, yes. and we've put basil, and you're both wrong because it is fennel. Fanny Craddock and Johnny eat your hearts out. Right. So there we are. Well done, though. Very interesting. Very interesting. Oh, dear. And still trouble. Let's have a look at the old scoreboard. Jonah Martin, 13. Daphne and Andrew, 13. A tiebreaker. Well, now, let me explain the tiebreaker. All right, then. The first one who answers the question will win the point. All right, only one point to be... Get a bit further forward. You want to see the answers, don't you? Right. <laughs> OK, then. In which range of mountains is Mount Everest? Everest. Yeah, you were just there. That time you did do it. You did do it. Oh, but how close. How close. That really is. And we're sorry to lose you, Daphne. We really are. Perfume and your tankard, which but well done, you two. Well done, you two. Very, very exciting. Very exciting. Thank you very much. Very good. There we are. And our next two anthe... What the... What's going on here? It's our next three. Oh, I see. And you've got your own card. To Bruce and Anthea with love from 8,000 Meggies. Oh, well, that's very kind of them. Thank you very much. He's a beauty. Can you manage him to get him off? Can you, Yes, Anthea? I can. And He's you're going to read out the names. Yeah, I'll read out the names. I think we better there cope we with it that way. <laughs> Crikey. All right, then. I'm Thank you, Mother. No, one. you just behave yourself. <laughs> you just come here. And it is uh, Mother and Son, and it's Iris and Doug Pickett. Oh, blood, what a name. Right. <laughs> All right, then. Iris Pickett, you're from Grimsby that's in right, Lincolnshire. Yes. You've been a housewife most of your life, and you're married to Vic, who is a fish filleter. Yes, Did you see our fish filleter the, the show, other week? Yeah, oh, yeah. Long <laughs> During the war, you worked in a wholesale shoe business, which got bombed, and you got 30 pairs of shoes out of it. That was with rummaging under the bomb damage, but I come out with they said, a pair of odd shoes. They said, exactly, you know, you can take what you want, you <laughs> got 30 odd pairs. <laughs> oh, dear. You're a great Jim Reeves and Des O'Connor fan. Oh, yeah. Is Fantastic. that right? Really? Mm -hmm. You, you, you do? Jim not, Reeves. I'll make a note of that. Uh, Des O'Connor? Des O'Connor, Oh, must make a note Older than she looks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you've never been out of this country because you hate flying, and when your son dung, 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 Doug, Doug, sorry, <laughs> son dung, <laughs> was a baby, you once dropped him on his head while bathing him. Did you really? What a shame. Well, I think we'd better get over to him there, right? <laughs> right, your Doug Pickett. From Grimsby and Lincolnshire as well. You are a manager of a social and bingo club. Oh, and they sent us the... They sent that, you. Well, thank you again for that. It was a very kind thought. Lovely. Your first job when you left school was a gent's hairdresser, but you gave it up. Why was that? Well, the long hair came in and nobody bothered... Nobody bothered... Oh, so that was the... Oh, I know what you mean. You're a great fan of Cliff Richard. Oh, is that right? Oh, yes. Oh, well, you know why? Why? Because your, your mother dropped you on your head. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you do imp oh, you do impressions of Cliff and, and once won a competition doing this impression. He will do it if you ask. <laughs> <laughs> well, friends, I want to tell you, we welcome to the show. <laughs> All the way from Grimsby, Lincolnshire, Doug Pickett, Opportunity Knocks. <laughs> Got himself a crying, talking <laughs> super <laughs> Very good, the voice! Get the voice in! Do it again, the bit of the voice. Got myself a crying, talking, sleeping, walking, a living doll. Yeah, the voice is marvellous. <laughs> Great, get off. <laughs> I'm the star. <laughs> no, that was really lovely. Anyway, you, you like to be able to, you'd like to be able to swim, but you can't stand getting your head underwater. Oh, you know why that is, don't you? No, why? Because you're mad at <laughs> <laughs> You've been married to Susan for eight years and you have two sons. Yes. You know what, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Iris, come over here, my love, and let's meet our last pair of crocuses for the night. <laughs> oh, Jimmy Edwards now. <laughs> How about that? The show's going to finish with Cliff Richard doing a duet with Jimmy Edwards. <laughs> go on, go on. It. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Now, uh, we have Frank and Sally Howes. Ah, I see Frank okay. and Sally Howes, not Sally Ann Howes. No, Sally No, no. I see. Anyway, it's father and daughter. That's the main thing. And you're from Purley right. in, in Surrey. And you used to be a very keen rugby player and played for 16 years and, in fact, met your wife, Pam, at the rugby club and she told you she thought you needed a bra. Right. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, were you holding the ball at the time? <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, you went into the printing uh, industry and learned how to print pound notes. Oh, really? How long did you go in for? Oh, a long time. A long time, was it? You now work for a large chemical firm dealing with rats, mice and cockroaches. Oh, sounds a bit like show business. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your wife says you are the perfect husband and a marvellous grandfather to your son, Jamie. Cries every time you see. Oh, does he really? Well, I can imagine that. Yeah, fine. <laughs> okay, and now over to your daughter, <laughs> Sally Howes, also from Pearlie. Uh, 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 so you live at home? Oh yes. Oh, I bet you have yes. great fun there. Oh yes. What do you play? Housey housey. <laughs> Just the throwaway line. Right. You are not at all interested in sports. Well, that makes a change. But you read a lot like Virginia Woolf. Oh, yeah. Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? <laughs> <laughs> Just a quick joke for kids. <laughs> <laughs> Who's afraid? Even they switched off. Right. D.H. Box. Chaucer and Thomas Hardy. Always good for a laugh. Yes. And last year... <laughs> Went away on holiday to a small Cornish village where the family go every year. Oh, well, if you feel like immigrating, go to Cornwall. <laughs> I'm trying to get everybody away from London. It's too busy. But now we're ready for game number three, which is called How High. <laughs> oh, God, what was that? <laughs> oh, that was nearly high enough, wasn't it? It was nearly too high, folks. Anyway, How High, keep facing the front. But actually, you can look round now because we're going to show the people at home. Have a look at this, you see? Some very famous towers. Then we have Blackpool Tower, then we have the Post Office Tower, then we have the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and then we have the Eiffel Tower, followed by Big Ben, which is another sort of tower, and then we have Nelson's Column. Well, you see, we've given you, we haven't made a mistake there. We've given you the height of Nelson's Column, which is 185 feet. This will be your yardstick to judge how high the other buildings are. All right, then? You see, alongside, we have all these, other, all these other heights that we've got there. And, of course, we've got a couple of bogus ones there. We want you to put, as the other one is there, you know, just put the, what do you think is the correct height underneath the right tower. It's as simple as that, or as hard as that. Play this at home as well. You have 30 seconds. Get to your boards, starting from now. Oh, how high the moon. Somewhere there's heaven, how faint the tune. You better go, do it, 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 you better go, You've had a guess? Good. If you'll just get to the end there, and if you'll stay at the end here with me, we shall do a bit of marking. All right, then. Well, now, um, number one, we've got 185 feet. What have you got, Anthea? And we've got 185 feet. A good start. <laughs> Two points each. <laughs> Only because it's been the new year, I'm feeling generous. All right, then, moving down to Blackpool Tower, we've got... Uh, 487 feet. What have you got, Anthony? And we've got 487 feet. Ah, uh, well, you're both wrong. It is, in fact, 526. But you were both fairly near, so I'm going to give you a point each. All right? A point each for that, so level pegging. Now, moving up to the next one, uh, Big Ben, we've got 184. What have you got? And we've got 184. <laughs> uh, all right, well, you're both wrong again. It is... <laughs> I hope you're doing better at home. <laughs> 320 feet it is, but we'll give you both a point just to keep it level pegging again. It makes the scoreboard look good and keeps Derek awake. All right, then. <laughs> Number four, we have 526 feet. What have you got, Anthea? Uh, we've got 984 feet. Yes, well, it is, in fact, 619, so I think we're the nearer, so we'll get a point for that, because we were, we were a little bit out, but, you know, much nearer than you two. All right, then. So, moving along to number five, the Eiffel Tower, we've got 984. What have you got, Anthea? And we've got 526 feet. Well, we are right on the button here. 984 is exactly right. Two points. Well done. Very well done there. Good. And the last one, Anthea. And we've got 679 feet for number six. Yes, and we've got 320, and we're both wrong. It is actually, in fact, 184. So you will get a, a point, because you are much nearer than the other, so you'll get one point here for being the nearest. 320, actually, that would almost be 120 if it was straight. You would... <laughs> 
So you get a point for that as well. All right, then. Thank you, Peter. Right. Thank you, Anthea, again. A good game. Bit of fun. Hope you enjoyed it, though. <laughs> Let's have a look at the old scoreboard. Iris and Doug, four. Frank and Sally, eight. So you're four points in the lead, aren't you? But don't get too headstrong, because there's a very tricky game coming up. If you'll just come over here, and if you'll just put your pennies on. Put your pennies on. Because a couple of times in our show tonight, we're going to say thank you to the people who work so very, very hard through Christmas holidays and all these other holidays that we all enjoy. They always have to maintain a certain amount of stuff. So stop groaning. You'll love this. You'll love this. We welcome to our show someone... Well, I know we're all grateful for the wonderful service that all these people provide. We welcome Sister Catherine Barron. <laughs> Sister Baron. It is, it is Baron. Uh -huh. It's uh, French? Yes, yes. Oh, in origin. In, or yes. in origin. Yes. Oh, lovely. Well, we have some French viewers. Oh, hee haw, hee haw, hee haw, hee haw. <laughs> <laughs> that will keep them happy again. Right. Well, now, what we're actually going to do is uh, the plastering. Uh, 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 yeah. The plaster of Par Paris. Uh -huh. You must be French. <laughs> Good. Would you come? Uh, oh, by the way, did you have a, a, a quiet Christmas? Very quiet. A very quiet Christmas, yes. I'm glad. Oh. oh, we've got a malingerer. <laughs> right, a malingerer. Up you go, then. Oh, oh. So, oh what's the matter? What's the matter? Oh, broke the ankle. Uh, I thought it was stomachache. Yeah. Oh, Never mind. <laughs> On you go there. On you go. Now, if you'll come round and just have a look at this. If two of you will come in here, that's fine, if you will. And you two stay in there and you can have a good look. Now, this is a sort of stockinette sock that's going that's on. Right, yeah. Stocking, rather. And, and this padding. is, what, what is this? Autoban. Autoban. Yeah. A special it's padding. Special, special for broken well, this limbs, kind of thing. anything with anything plaster with a broken parts. limb. And this actually is his ankle that is really yes. gone, is it? So we a have smashed to ankle. It. That's right. Mm -hmm. But inside. Good. And this is only used for. Uh, you only go up as far as here, then below so, the knee. For anything the that's toe. below the knee, I see. Uh -huh. But anything up here has to go right up to the will thigh. Will go right up to the thigh, yes. Right up to the armpit, I should imagine, yes. And uh, now this is the. This is the I never knew bandage. this is how this is done, I must say. It will be very quick because it dries it's very quick. Too. How soon does it dry, Four sister? Four minutes. Four minutes? Uh -huh. you, well, you do have to be quick. Right, you, you behave yourself. The Just stand there and enjoy it, I see. And you need plenty of water with this, don't yes, you? Yes, You'll be playing again soon. Cool. Don't worry. Right. Turn it down, another... See, plenty of water. Do notice this. And a little squeeze out, just a slight squeeze out, and on it goes again. And the stuff seems to seep through, come right the way through. Absolutely marvellous. You mustn't include the toes, of course. No, no. And that's about it. That's it. Straighten you just the foot up. straighten the foot up Very there. Very important, normal. That is important. I see. And just smooth it. You love all that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I bet you wish the plaster wasn't there now. <laughs> Getting all this lovely massage. <laughs> there we are. But how about that? That's beautiful. That's it. Feel better now? Well, thanks, sister. Thanks, sister. Thank you, sister. Thank you, sister. That's it. Off you go, then. Uh, right there. Yes, off it. Up it. <laughs> right. All right. Well done. But, well, now, will you... I don't want you to hop it, sister. We want you to stay and be a judge. All right, then? A very yes. fine judge, too. Well, now, if you'll just stand at the head of your beds. Pick a bed each, if you will. Pick a bed each. There we are. That's it. And could we have the other people on, please? These people are all from the casualty <laughs> union. The casualty union. These people actually do this as you've oh, got unions for everything these days. By the way, have a look at this. You must have a look at this if you're looking at home. Now, that is all makeup. We don't want you to think we've broken people's legs <laughs> to get them on the show. No letters, please. That is all makeup, isn't it, Wally? Yes. This is Big Wally, he wouldn't lie. Right, <laughs> needs the money. Right, here we go then. <laughs> okay, two minutes, get plastering starting from now.
minute. You're not doing too badly. You should be starting to plaster now. Sister's watching. You know, old eagle eye. <laughs> 45 seconds. You know what's going on at the end there? <laughs> Now, dip your hands in the water, if you will, and that's it. And, sister, will you come back and take that towel and stand at the back of your beds, if you will, at the back of your beds, and come right in, Sister Catherine, and tell me what you think about this. A adequate. Yes, adequate, mm. but not over the moon, eh? No. Um... Room for a spare toe there, isn't there? To <laughs> tuck under there. But what do you think? Marks uh, out of five? Mark two. About two. And has he got it raised up all right? But no. about two. That, that, mm. That's fair enough. Yes? That's it true. isn't probably as tight no. as it should be. No, no not right. as long. Round here, but two points. Sorry. Well done. Very difficult thing to do, let's face it. And uh, how's Big Wally got on here? <laughs> well, again... All right, Wally? Two. Two? two. Yes, it should have been three. higher up, you see. The, the toes... Do like a quick chorus of tut 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 see goodbye? <laughs> tickled. I see, but it go right up to there. That's what mm. they should have done. In fact, they've all made the same mistake, haven't they? Yes. Two out of uh, five for that, yes. <laughs> it's very important the plaster goes really up to the toenails really almost um, yes i think three here three a bit better mm. oh well done well um, done she's turned down it so the plaster won't cut yes she's turned here. it down there which is thoughtful and, uh, of her yes otherwise you two i should either have your leg <laughs> off or get off quick right <laughs> what do you think so cosmetically that is the best one cosmetically <laughs> cosmetically <laughs> that's the best one sally well done <laughs> cosmetically yes we've learned another word tonight don't go in there <laughs> no you see i remembered didn't i Thank right you. jolly good all right then what about um, frank Mm. How cosmetically did well, he get on? I, I think just two again because he's very far up the foot. He's far up the foot, mm. so just two for that. But well done. Mm. I love the artistic bit of the end. <laughs> and uh, sister, do give all our love to all. The, we didn't mention it's the Hillingdon Hospital yes. you're from. We'll give our love to all the doctors, the nurses, and the other sisters. She's Thank been you. a very severe sister, but another <laughs> sister. Thank you, Catherine yes. Baron. Ho yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yeah. scoreboard iris and doug eight frank and <laughs> sally 13. so there we are you came through really in the end there so you've actually won haven't you and we say goodbye to you and we're sorry to lose you and very your sorry traveling cosmetic set and your tankard okay. all righty there we are and we'll see you in our semi-final which will be coming up very very soon thank you again very nice well, Frank and Sally. Well, now, I can see you're all ready. You've got your shoes off and you've all stopped coughing. That's lovely. <laughs> we're, now, we're now paying tribute to some other people who work so hard for us, especially through the holidays when everybody else is putting their feet up. We now thank the Royal National Lifeboat Institution and just imagine that we're along the coast somewhere, say, in the Selsey area, and all of a sudden we hear a maroon go off. <laughs> Two maroons. This is what happens.
you, Glyn, and thank you, Bill. And give our love to all the boys back at Selsey. All right, then. And thank, thank you for the marvellous job you do. Great. Oh! <laughs> there we are. Well, now we'd like you to meet the lifeboat inspector for the South East area. We welcome to our show now, Mr Alan Tate. Oh! <laughs> all right, Alan. Good. Well, now, you're celebrating your 150 years, so it's a double and a half, what is it, centenary, centenary and a half. That's right. So, uh, how many people's lives have been saved in all those years? Well, over 100,000 lives. 100,000 lives. And just the Selsey, whether these boys are from the Selsey, uh, how many have they... Uh, well, in the last year alone, 18 lives have been saved. The last saved year, 18 lives. It just yep. goes to show. That's marvellous. Well, now, uh, could we have a look at the real lifeboat? This is a sort of a... Was this one? This is a... An it's an inshore lifeboat. Oh, an inshore. Yeah, right. it's it got wheels on. I didn't know that. How about the, <laughs> how about the offshore? then the big one can we have a look at that yes indeed there it is and that's in very rough uh, sea isn't it it's a bit choppy yeah. what about the photographer what was he on a lilo <laughs> well now we, we want you to be a judge because we've got some recruits for you Alan. Lovely. all right then okay. so will you come back and sort of give us your judgment love to and thank them again all but for the tie they've sent me and all that it's very love nice of them. Okay. thank you very much indeed all right then well now heads or tails heads Tails it is. You've lost the toss. So you, you can either go first or second. It's up to you. Yeah, first, get it over with. Yeah. All right, then. Could we have the large size for Frank? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't be offended, Frank, because these things are either in medium or large. And you are definitely large. Right. <laughs> You're uh, well, between you and Right. All right, then. So if you'll just go into Bruce's room and sit yourselves down, and if you'll both leave your glasses here. But you see, you haven't got those, those other jackets. You've just got the trousers there, and the boots go on first, as you know. All right, then. OK, now, you've got about two minutes to do this, which is a bit more than what the boys had. So two minutes, starting from... Oh, there So if you can. That's it, keep pushing. Good. That's it, good, good. Now this is the tricky bit. <laughs> I'll help you, dear. I'll help you, right. Get this one in there. Point your toe. Point your toe. That's it. Point your toe. Good girl. That's it. Good. Good. That's it. Good. Oh. Well done. Well done. That's it. In you go. 45 seconds you've got left. In goes that. Well done, dear. Good. Good. On with the... Uh, Oh, but that's it. That goes over the top. That's it. Get out the right way. That's it. That's it. Here you go. Where's Dad? Where's Frank? That's it. Go on. Well done. Well done, Frank. Here you are. Okay. That was very well done because, believe me, it's not easy. It's not easy. Look at this. Well, you're tied together. There we are. Well, you two would never sink, I'll tell you that. <laughs> never, ever sink. Alan, will you come amongst us, please? Love Didn't you think? Didn't they crew well? <laughs> very good. Well. There we are. How about... All right, all right. How about Sally, first of all? Well, she's got the boots, the trousers. In fact, she's got them over her shoulders, I too. I know. I thought I had a hand missing for one minute. <laughs> The top's on. The top's on? Yes. In fact, all that isn't there is the fact that the life belt isn't done up. And I think yes. You know, we must give a 9 out of 10 for that. 9 out of 10. Very high marks. Well done. Very well done indeed. And what about Frank? How Frank got into this, I'll never know. <laughs> Hasn't got much room to sit. You'll never get out. <laughs> so, right, we've got some scissors. Right. <laughs> all right, then. 
The same again. Not same again. Everything's on except the life jacket. <laughs> he set that and just tied up. Extremely well. Yeah. Very well done indeed. Yes, indeed. Again. All right then. 18 right. points all together. Lovely. Come over here and relax and help them take them off. All right then. Alan, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Anthea. There we are. All right, my loves. You couldn't hear anything, could you, or see what was going on? That's lovely. Well, now, if you come round here, pick whichever one they like. They're both the same size. These are both mediums. So, uh, there we are. There you are, as you are there. All right, then. Now, you've got about two minutes, the same as the others. All right, then. And a lot longer than the other fellows. Two minutes, starting from now. There goes the maroon. Point your toe helps. A little point at the toe. That's it. That's it. How's he doing over there? He's doing alright. Point your toe. We won't go. Out. Let me have a try. Right. <laughs> Point the toe. Is it, is it not pulling up? That's it. Pull it up here. I like it. I like it. Right. Now push it through now. Can you? God dear. I don't get any extra for this. That's it, good, good. All right, you've got your things on. Oh, but you're doing very well here, good. Right? How are we doing, time? Five, 30 seconds. Get ready for getting into... Where are you going? Quick. Yeah, you're 30 seconds, quick, 20. Never mind, get, get your thing on. And, and jump into the... Uh, right? Put that on, quick. You've only got 10 seconds left. Jump in the boat. That's it, in the boat. Yeah, come to the well. Out you come. Absolutely marvellous. Well done indeed, my love. Take care. Over here. All right. <laughs> there we are. All present and correct, Alan. There we are. Well, what did you think about these two? Well, super. Uh, oh. He got, got dressed very quickly indeed. He in did, fact. didn't he? Very, uh, very. Not quite done up correctly, but uh, he's had a really good try here. And, uh, you know, I find it hard to say anything but 10 out of 10 for that, you know. 10 out of 10! <laughs> got his arm slightly in the wrong place, and this piece of the eye gone done. Yes. But, uh, no, no problems at all. No problems at all? And how about, uh, <laughs> how about this one here? Well, the race was on, wasn't it? You the know? race was on. Uh, well, it's a bit Let's have a look at the back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at the back. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right. It's all right. You're all there, don't worry. Marks out of ten. I get nine out of ten. Everything on except except the light. Nine out of ten, ten again. Light. All right. Well done. Thank you, Alan. Come down here. Come here, my love. Come here. Let's have a look at the old scoreboard. Joan and Martin, nineteen. Frank and Sally, eighteen. Well, there we are. Very close. Oh, so very close. Bad luck, you two. And Alan, thank you so much, and, and thank you for coming along on behalf of, of the institution. They do a marvellous job. You, words can't say enough. All right, then. Thank you. Thank you so much, and a happy new year to <laughs> There we are. Get rid of that. He's over there. Uh, this is your blow dryer and your car vacuum. Thank OK? You. There we are. There and we're we sorry are. to lose you once again. Frank and Sally, very good to <laughs> To shoulder, mother and son. Here comes the big crunch. Three questions to be asked. The first one who answers will win the point, providing the answer is correct. Three points altogether. First question In the New Year's Honours list, which famous film comedian has been knighted? Charlie Chaplin. Chaplin. Together. Together, right? The next Chaplin. one Who is the Vice President of the United States of America? Shh. Rockefeller. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you go out much together? 
<laughs> All right, then. The la- never. What well, <laughs> you should do. Right. The last one coming up. What is the new year known as in Scotland? Hogmanay. You've just done it again. You're one for picking on the post, aren't you? Oh, yes. He's got rid of Mark. There we are, tension. But there we are, my love. These are for you, Joan. And all right, Martin, if you'll just go round the back there with that. All right, then. Take the sliding doors away, please. All right, Martin, lots of articles are going to pass before your eyes. We want you to have a real good look. You have 45 seconds to have a look, starting from now. And on the conveyor belt tonight, a car coat, three floral prints, a cassette tape recorder, a pair of candelabra and a snuffer, a cuddly hippopotamus, some mixing bowls, a set of perfumery, a blanket, a world radio, so siphon of soda and an ice bucket, an indoor herb garden, six tumblers, a coffee blender, a vase, a wine table, a tin opener and knife sharpener, a dinner service and a tea service combined, a massager, a writing case, a table lamp, a hairdryer. There we are then, Martin. Round you come and keep thinking all the time. All right then, all the time. Over here then. And everything you remember, you can take home with you tonight. You have 45 seconds to recount your thoughts, starting from now. Cassette. A cassette. Radio. A radio. A duffel coat. A duffel coat. A cuddly toy. A cuddly toy. A table. A table. A vase. A vase. A tea set. A tea set. Glasses. Some glasses. Uh, a table. A table. You already said the table. Uh, uh, blankets. Some blankets. Blankets. Some blankets. blankets, yes. Blankets. A lamp. A lamp. It was a lamp. You're right. Yes? Uh, the hair dryer? Hair dryer, hair yes. Dryer, yes. yes. Hair dryer. Right. Um, uh, mix that. Uh, mix cosmetics. Some cosmetics. cosmetics, yes. And also the herb, the indoor the herbs, herb yes, thing. Yes. Must have those. Um, uh, a camera. A camera. Yeah. There was a camera, yes. There was a camera. Uh, yeah, a we, vase, got the vase. Vase. we got the vase. We got the vase. Oh. The writing set. Print. The writing set. Print. And some prints. Writing print. and prints. Didn't he do well? Way! Yeah.